Ego O. I think you are slowly turning me gay. I might unsub. Love the videos though. Hey guys, excited to jump back into the comment section. Let's see what you gave me this week. Fedora Miyaza, Dear Dr. Mike, what happens if I get struck by lightning? I think you get severely burned. A lightning strike because of electrical activity can also stop your heart. But I know people who have gotten struck by lightning, at least from the news, and survived. Never seen a patient get struck by lightning. But I think the odds are something like one in 4,000 that you can get struck by lightning. Need to look that up, I'll pop it up on screen in my edit. Should a doctor treat relatives or patients that they know? If yes, how would it affect their objectivity and judgment? It depends on the doctor, Ozan. Um, some doctors can still be objective in treating their friends and family. Not ideal, because again, you can make some bad decisions when treating your friends or family. In fact, my dad, whenever I was ill, even though he's a doctor, he would always take me to see another doctor because he would say like another set of eyes that's not biased, that doesn't see you every day, they can sort of catch things that maybe his eye won't catch. And I agree with that. Lois DeBoer, career economics, sentence, farmer, judge stroke, burning, attribute, slam, intense, frankly. Truth be told, George Washington's pet puppy came at the light of the bookshelf on the TV stand who stood upon the wires, microphone, etc. Hope that answered your question. What was that? Karen Apollonese. Hey, Dr. Mike, you are awesome. Thank you. Uh, I was wondering what body fat percentage is too low for men or for women. We hear a lot about being overweight, but commonly not about being too thin. You look at Instagram and some of these physiques that you see, they're not realistic. One of two things is happening. You're either getting really extreme plastic surgery or you're photoshopping yourself to look thinner than you actually are. Now, the way that you should look at it is not so much by body fat, but looking at your BMI, which compares your height to your weight. And there's a chart for this where you can actually see your height and then match your weight and see what number you are. 18.5 to 24.9 is the normal range. Anything above 24.9 to 30 is overweight, above 30 is obese. Below 18.5 is underweight. See where you fall in that uh, little range and then go talk to your doctor and have a conversation about it. Please make a podcast. I would love to learn new things from you during my commute. Sals, I wanna make a podcast. I feel like I have a lot to say. I've learned a lot of my journey. And while this is a great way for us to communicate, I feel like a podcast where I can sort of just tell you how I feel and talk about some current events, maybe have some guests on the show and have interesting conversations. That's something I'm excited about. Maybe, Sal's, you could do me a favor. You can write a comment down below and say, anyone who wants Dr. Mike to start a podcast, upvote this. And I'm gonna give you a challenge. 20,000 upvotes. I will begin the process of starting a podcast. The challenge has been given. Megan Meyer. Hey, Dr. Mike, does Lightning McQueen get car insurance or life insurance? Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen sounds like a character from one of those things, Cars. God, I'm so out of touch with reality. That's what happens when you're trapped in the hospital all day. If it's a car, I would say car insurance because if a car dies, the life insurance company is gonna sue the car insurance company. And it's a whole lot of insurance nonsense and I hate insurance. This is why lawyers make so much money and doctors don't because they bill by like the minute as opposed to doctors, we're all altruistic folks that just wanna help everybody. Not hating on lawyers, you do some great work also. Do you have doctor-related dreams? For example, do you dream about medical procedures, surgeries, et cetera? Actually, Allison, I've had some dreams like that and they were nightmares. Like I would go in uh, to inject a knee with steroids for someone who has really bad osteoarthritis and when I would start uh, injecting the steroid, the knee just starts swelling like crazy and blood goes everywhere. And it was a legitimate nightmare that I had over and over again during my training. I have no idea why. HJK. Hi, Dr. Mike. What is the science behind being lactose and tolerant? I think you mean lactose intolerant, but I get it. I am lactose intolerant and I have been trying to drink milk more often to help get my body liking again. Can that actually work? Thank you. Not a good idea because your body is already saying that it doesn't like milk. Uh, when you're lactose intolerant, you're not having an autoimmune reaction. You're just missing uh, the enzyme that breaks down the sugar component of milk, uh, which is lactose, and the enzyme that you're missing is lactase. Sometimes uh, people do well with uh, a pill form of the enzyme lactase, but it doesn't work for everybody and it's sort of hit or miss. My advice would be 
just to skip out on dairy foods as often as possible, make sure you're getting calcium and vitamin D from other sources, because usually that's one of the main sources of calcium and vitamin D for most folks. But if you're gonna enjoy some cheese, some pizza, some cereal, make sure you do it when no one's around, because I know those symptoms can be rough. <laughs> How do I tell my doctor I have depression? Because when I start to bring it up, I get anxiety and just back out. Well, Angela, this is sort of the doctor's job. They're supposed to make you feel comfortable. They're supposed to ask you some guided questions to allow you to express the way you feel without making you feel uncomfortable. That doesn't mean there's nothing to do on your part. You should still really work to make sure that your feelings come out honestly, openly, and truthfully. Because when you do that, not only will you get a big sense of relief by just getting that information out there, but then with that information, the doctor can then go ahead and help you. And it doesn't mean necessarily that they're gonna prescribe you a medication. So many people are afraid that, oh, the doctor is just gonna tell me to take a pill and I don't wanna take a pill. There are a lot of treatments for depression that are not just pharmacologic. Don't feel down, Angela. Stay confident, tell your doctor the truth, be honest and open, and reap the benefits of getting your treatment. Kelly Kawaguchi, does apple cider vinegar really have all the benefits that people claim? No, apple cider vinegar is not the next coming. Honestly, I blame uh, the media for this. Someone came up with some study that showed that in mice, there was a slight decrease uh, in uh, blood sugar levels in diabetic mice, and now they claim that apple cider vinegar cures all. It does not. I do need to do a little bit more research to find out exactly how it affects each condition, but I promise you it does not solve every problem, and you shouldn't use it as a cure-all for everything. In fact, I've seen some patients use it and actually have some stomach upset and have some other problems develop as a result of using it. Hey, Dr. Mike, how often should you shower for someone with eczema or dandruff? Well, cheese guy, 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 one. If you have dandruff, using a shampoo that is specifically anti-dandruff shampoo is ideal. You could also use some natural oils like tea tree oil or manuka oil or coconut oil. I've seen some good results with that. If you shower very often for someone who has eczema, you can overly dry out your skin and cause eczema symptoms to get worse. Also very important that when you're susceptible to eczema and you wanna dry yourself after the shower, don't rub your skin, just pat yourself dry so you don't irritate the skin any more than it needs to be. Hey, Dr. Mike, I'm curious, what is the most embarrassing moment of your life? Muniz, I've said this before and I'll say it again and it's sad, so get ready for a sad story. I was four years old and my brain had just turned on because I was making memories and I remember this. I was in pre-K and it was nap time and I pooped my pants a little bit and I had diarrhea. And in Russia, since they were very strict and disciplinarian, if you will, they made me walk around naked while they washed my underwear in the water fountain in the sink. And I, another teacher walked in just as they were doing that and I had to stand there naked. Cold, it was cold too. And they were cleaning out my poop. It's very embarrassing. That moment stuck with me. I will never poop my pants again until maybe I'm very, very old and I'm incontinent. And at which point I wear diapers so I don't have to wash my underwear. And I'll make sure, <laughs> I'll make sure nobody has to see me nude except my nurse <laughs> or my caretaker or my doctor or my family members. This has turned into a, a weird story from a sad story. And I'm sorry you had to hear this. <laughs> I love responding and reading your comments. You guys crack me up with your questions. I love trying these new formats also. So if you have a format that you've seen somewhere else or maybe you've created in your mind and you want me to do it, drop me a line down below in the comments because I don't only just respond to comments and videos like this. I also jump into the comment section and respond directly to folks. As always, stay happy and healthy.